It is election day here in Wisconsin. There are still three hours left for you to vote until the polls close. But this afternoon, our crews have been out and about already across our state. Thanks so much for joining us at 5. I'm John Stofflet. I'm Maria Lizignoli. Tonight we have team coverage on the major races, including those for governor and state senate. U.S. Senate, NBC 15's Tyler Peters and Colton Molesky are covering the governor's races tonight. So let's first turn to Tyler, who's live in Milwaukee at the Mandela Barnes campaign event. Yeah, I'm inside the Turner Hall ballroom right now where Mandela Barnes in a couple of hours will be spending the evening with his supporters. And I recently spoke to a campaign staff member who tells me they feel really good about the support they received thus far. And she mentioned to me this race will come down to voter turnout as the race between Johnson and Barnes remains very close, as we saw in that latest Marquette law poll that showed Barnes down just a couple of percentage points, but within that margin of error. He was also at UW-Milwaukee this morning speaking with students, encouraging them to go out and vote and encouraging that young voter, fan, uh, voter base. We will have all the updates as the numbers come in throughout the night, so stay tuned. NBC 15 reporting live in Milwaukee, I'm Tyler Peters. Tyler, thank you so much. Let's go to NBC 15's Colton Molesky live in Nina for incumbent Senator Ron Johnson's event. Maria, we're here in Nina at the Best Western Premier Bridgewood Resort. That's where Senator Ron Johnson will host his election day event. I saw just a few moments ago Senator Johnson was actually in the building checking out the ballroom we're in right now before guests start to arrive. Earlier he was actually at the Oshkosh Town Hall where he was casting his ballot and I was able to catch up with the campaign for the Republican incumbent and they're very confident headed into the final hours of the polls being open and they also emphasized again the importance for everyone to get out and vote. We're asking all voters, Republicans, Democrats, independents, people that don't even associate any of those terms uh, with what they believe in, um, to, to take a look and, uh, and, and cast their vote. Now those polls close across the state at 8, and we're expecting guests for this election event to start filtering in around 6. In Nina Colton-Molesky, NBC 15 News.